We're at question number five, now burning question number five, and I have to tell you that this is probably one of the most popular ones that we get. It's how do I know what to charge for various sizes of paintings? Big question, a good question, and we're going to show you some techniques that work for us. First of all, you should ask yourself, do you want to sell your artwork? Um, That's probably the most important question, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> some people don't. That's fine. They're just doing it for painting just because it's fun. And boy, that's great. There are some people that actually want to make a living uh, selling their artwork. You know, some of the younger generation artists will come up to me uh, in the colleges that we teach throughout the United States. I love this question. They say, Mr. Burridge, uh, you're selling all your, your paintings and you're making all this money. Aren't you selling out? And I say, no. I'm cashing in. And it's a big difference here. It is a business. And so uh, what we uh, do, we produce a product. And Kate had mentioned it. That's mm -hmm. that P word. It is a product. So really what you have to do, which is the hardest part, is you have to divorce yourself from your creation. How do you put a price tag on your children, so to speak, okay? So the first thing you should do is uh, once you've said, yes, I do want to sell my work, is uh, compare your work with everyone else's out there, the ones that are selling. A good way to do that is, again, go to art galleries, uh, go to art shows, go to those outdoor art festivals, and look at the ones that are selling, okay? And so you say, well, yeah, my work is pretty good. I think I could be competitive and, and look at the, my, this, uh, uh, look at my artwork, and I think it would sell. I think it would be okay. And, um, so you have to be pretty honest with yourself too. Um, look at your work in the cold, hard, commercial light. Is it something someone would really want to buy? Also, think about your market. Is, you, is your market a, a young age or an older age? Is it, are they people who are very wealthy? Uh, what's their education? So you actually analyze your market as best as you can. It's kind of hard to put a finger on it exactly, but at least you've addressed the question to yourself. I mean, do you do young, hip, pop types of things, um, but you have a very specific market out there.